Thanks for joining Homebase. Let's walk through customizing your settings. First, sign into your Homebase account at app.joinhomebase.com. Homebase can be completely customized to suit your company's workflow. From settings, you can turn features on and off, update permissions, and manage your account's billing info. Select settings on the top navigation bar. On the left, we have our menu. Under locations, you are able to edit basic info, POS connection, and plan and billing. Let's select basic info first. Under location details, Select the pencil icon to edit the business location info, such as name, physical address, phone number, time zone, business type, and website. Under Company Info, you'll see an overview of the company's information. Under Company Location, you'll see a list of your locations in Homebase. You also have the option to add an additional business location here. And last but not least, we have the Save Changes button. Once you make any changes, make sure to always select Save Changes. Next, on the left menu, we have POS Connection. Here you can customize your daily report reset time. Choose a time where all labor and sales reports start over for the next day. If you don't have a POS that we connect with, you can manually upload sales to populate sales report through Excel or CSV file, or select your POS to connect. This is a list of all of our POS partners where you can connect your POS system with your home base account. Next on the left menu, we have plan and billing. This shows you the plan your account is on, as well as your billing cycle and next billing date. You will also see the credit card that you have on file. To edit or update your credit card info, select the pencil icon to the right. Under billing, you'll be able to view and download all of your invoices from Homebase. Now let's go to the next section on the left menu, which is time tracking. Here you can customize your time clock options, overtime, breaks, and compliance settings. Under time clock options, you can enable or disable declaring cash tips at the end of the shift during clock out. You also have the option to enable or disable shift feedback. This is the ability for employees to rate their shift and leave feedback upon clocking out. Next, we have the option for time clock rounding. This automatically rounds clock ins and outs to the nearest 5 or 15 minute increment. Under mobile time clock, you can enable or disable the mobile time clock for your location. If you have irregular schedules or don't use schedules, check the box to allow unscheduled shift clock in from the mobile app. This will allow employees to clock in even though they are not on the schedule. This is where you set your geofence. This will prevent employees from being able to clock in with the mobile app unless they are at the specific location within the range of 150 feet, one block, or five blocks. On the map, you can click and drag the pinpoint to an exact location that you would like. To the right, you can choose to text yourself a download link for the free Homebase mobile app. Under Tablet Time Clock, you can enable or disable unscheduled shift role selection. This allows employees to select a role when clocking in without a schedule being made. On the right, you can choose to email yourself a download link to the Homebase Time Clock app for the iPad or Android tablet. Under Web Time Clock, you can disable or enable the ability to let employees launch the Web Time Clock. On the right, you have the options to launch the web time clock from here as well. If you're not interested in using time tracking with Homebase at this time, you can disable time tracking from here. Don't forget to select Save Changes on the top right corner to save your edits. Next up on the left menu, we have Overtime. Here we show you the state and federal overtime requirements to help you stay compliant. This is where you can customize how you would like to track your overtime in Homebase. You can also set up and enable overtime alerts. Managers can be sent an alert when an employee is approaching overtime as well as when they actually hit overtime. If you have an employee that works more than one location, you can track overtime across multiple locations. You can also set up overtime for your salary employees as well. Does your business stay open through the holidays? With the holiday feature, you can set an hourly rate on a holiday without needing to manually edit time cards before running payroll. Once you're done customizing your overtime, make sure to hit Save Changes. 
Next on the left menu, we have breaks and compliance. Staying compliant can be complicated. We've got the tools to help. Here you'll be able to see an overview of your state break laws as well as your federal break laws. Underneath, you'll be able to customize your breaks. This allows you to set up your ability for employees to clock out and in for breaks. Breaks can be set for either optional or mandatory. If the break is set to mandatory, the employee's time card will show a missed break error on the timesheets if a break is missed. If the break is optional, the employee's time card won't reflect if a break is missed. You can also add new breaks, which allows you to add more break options for employees to take. For subtract unpaid breaks, this subtracts any expected unpaid breaks to be taken by employees from the wage and hours forecast on the schedule builder. We also have the option to award additional hours. Employees who do not clock out for mandatory breaks will be awarded additional paid hours on their timesheets. For convert excess paid to unpaid breaks, any extra time taken outside of a paid break gets automatically converted to unpaid. This is great for controlling your labor costs. For example, if a 10 minute paid break is granted and an employee takes a 25 minute break, 15 minutes will be converted to unpaid. Let's go ahead and select safe changes on the top right corner. Now on the left menu, let's select and walk through scheduling. Starting with Schedule Enforcement, for Schedule Start Date, you can customize what day you would like your scheduled date to start when you are viewing and creating the schedule. For Scheduling Hours, this will directly affect the day view in the schedule and the autofill times when creating a shift. With Homebase, you can keep track of your employee's tardiness by setting a threshold to mark an employee late. Preventing Early Clock-In, one of our most popular features. This allows you to set a threshold to prevent your employees from clocking in early from their scheduled start time, helping you prevent time theft and keeping your labor costs in control. Preventing Early Clock-In from Breaks will prevent your employees from ending their breaks early. For Clock Out Reminder, this will send a push notification or text to employees 10 minutes past their scheduled end time. For auto clock out, if enabled, Homebase can automatically clock out employees 10, 15, 30, 60, 90, or 120 minutes after their shift has ended. You also have the option to enable or disable allowing employees to add forgotten clock out times. If an employee has forgotten to clock out, Homebase will send them a notification through the Homebase Messenger app. If the employee replies with a time, the time will be saved on their timesheets, saving you time from going in to edit yourself. Let's go ahead and select Save Changes on the top right corner to save. Now moving to Alerts and Permission on the left menu. Here we are able to customize Late Alerts. This is where you can set a threshold where managers will receive an alert when employees don't clock in after a certain time past their scheduled start time. You can also enable text to schedule. When the schedule is published, employees can receive their entire schedule through text messages. For requiring availability approvals, this will allow managers to deny or approve new availability requests. If it's disabled, all availability requests will be automatically approved. You can enable or disable to only allow managers to build and publish schedules for their assigned departments only. You can also choose to only allow employees to view their own schedule. This would allow the employee to only view their schedule and not the entire team's schedule. Don't forget to select Save Changes. Now moving on to the last category under Schedule on the left menu. We have Events and Trades. From here, you can enable events on the schedule to inform employees of any upcoming events, such as concerts, holiday, massive sales, or team meetings. We also offer shift change history, which allows management to see a track record of all shift trades, covers, and claims. Managers would be able to see who the shift originally belonged to and which manager approved the request. For schedule history, you are able to see which manager published the schedule, when it was published, and how many shifts were published. You can access these features under Schedule on the top navigation bar. Now let's go to Payroll on the left menu. Here you can customize your payroll period. You can set your payroll period to weekly, every two weeks, once a month, or twice a month. For payroll period start day, you can set the day when your payroll period begins. 
You can also choose to enable or disable locked timesheets after approval. Once timesheets are locked, they cannot be edited unless set up otherwise in team permissions. Underneath, we have our payroll partners, which is a list of our integrated payroll partners. This is where you'll be able to connect your payroll accounts with Homebase. Once done, select Save Changes on the top right corner. Next on the left menu, we have Time Off and PTO. This is where you can set your PTO policy and customize time off restrictions. Under Time Off Policy, you can choose which time off categories will count towards PTO. Then you can create your PTO policy by selecting Create New Policy. Name the policy, select the accrual method, the hours or the rate, max balance, and max carryover. On the bottom of the page, you have the option to limit time off requests per day, and also set the number of days in advance employees need to request off. Once you have that set, don't forget to select Save Changes on the top right corner. Now moving on to Team Messenger on the left menu. This is where you can enable or disable Team Shoutouts. Shoutouts allow you and your employees to send notes of appreciation and recognition to teammates who stood out or went the extra mile during a shift. You can also enable or disable Messenger. This will allow you to disable messaging for employees. You may also re-enable if you choose to do so. Here you will be able to download message logs. This is the ability to download all messages, including private messages, in the form of an Excel or CSV file. Employees will receive a notification that their messages have been downloaded to view. Now let's select Team Permissions on the left menu. With Homebase, you're able to keep track of multiple wage rates. You can apply different wage rates to different roles for team members. You can also break down and organize your schedule by departments. This allows you to track labor costs by area and allow department managers to create and publish schedules for their departments. Here you can enable or disable the ability for employee to self-onboard. This allows employees to find your business and join the account without you having to add them. In your home base account, there are four different permissions level. The order is as following, account owner, general manager, manager, and employee. Underneath, this is a full list of all admin capabilities within Homebase. This is where you can control what you would like your management staff to be able to do and delegate certain tasks to general managers or managers. Once you're done customizing, select Save Changes on the top right corner. Now going to Manager Log from the left menu. The Manager Log is a tool that managers can use to communicate with each other about any information during shifts. Here you are able to enable or disable the Manager Log for managers to view and store notes. Next on the left menu, we have API Access. This is where you can view our API documentation. If you are interested in using the API, you can request a key from here. Now going into account on the left menu. Under profile, you are able to change your profile photo. Your profile photo will be viewed by everyone on your home base account. Under profile info, you can edit any information regarding your profile, such as name, contact info, and language preference. This is where you'll be able to change your password to your home base account. You also have the option to add in an emergency contact. If you like, you can add or edit any work history you may have, even if they don't use Homebase, to keep in your profile. And on the bottom of the page, you have the option to add new certificates to your profile. With this, you can add any certificates such as CPR or food handling. Photos of certifications can be uploaded as well as expiration dates and will let you know when it's about to be expired. On the right side, you'll be able to see your charts regarding your attendance, experience by role, and also your shift feedback. Now let's select location and pins on the left menu. This will show you a complete list of all the locations you are currently employed with the pins for each location. And last but not least, on the left menu, we have notifications. If you have more than one location, you're able to select which locations you want notifications for. Under Shift and Schedule, you can adjust how you would like to be notified about new schedules being published and upcoming shifts. Under Manager Alerts, managers can adjust how they would like to receive certain alerts such as overtime, late, daily emails, and time off requests. 
Now that we went through everything in settings, make sure to take some time to customize how you would like your Homebase account to be set up. Still have questions? Visit support.joinhomebase.com.